Okay, you now I'm now I'm recording. I wasn't recording you before. Let's see. So you need to explain what you're doing and how you your your technique. This is the knife, it's sticking the knife in the hinge side, not in this side. This is the typical side that they open it from. You had to never do that, so I decided that I'm going to pop the hinge. So that's what I do. Just put it in here, work it in there, and then pop the hinge. Now it's open. Oh my goodness, you're good at this. Yeah, and it's, just, and it's the easiest, quickest way. See, that one's done. When you come back, turn it on, you can see me. I can sit here for three times the amount of time that I take to open them. This way, I'm trying to do it leverage. Cocktail sauce. Well, basically, I'll open, I'll open a dozen oysters and probably a minute and a half. And then I'm going to spend another minute and a half taking them. Change them off the shelf. What does it sound like? So if you get a bad one, how do you know? Yep. Well, that's probably just this little little one that's on the side. That's how you can tell. And if you can't tell by that, when you open it, you'll know. Because it's going to really stink. Oh, that's something to look forward to. So see, there's a dozen. A dozen are open already. That's why we have Pucci do it. He's good at this. Yeah. I didn't know how the hell to open these things. I just... Uh, Where's the seaweed, Bubba? Mm. Seaweed? Yeah. Oh, it looks, okay. oh, it's like someone's going to actually... I thought you were going to sample that for a second. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave. That, piece. that way there I can tell. Yeah. If it's bad, if it doesn't smell and it happens to be bad, just eat the piece of muscle that's left in the shell. No. See, this is a sequel to the other video that was popular on YouTube um, when you were open before. And hopefully, this will be more um, useful for people. So I think all of us are baffled by this technology. A lot, all, most of us are, are, are baffled about the technology of how to eat oy, or how to open an oyster. Uh, I like the screwdriver. I'm sorry. Just pretend that I'm a mechanic. You're working on the hinge. Working on, working on, working on the oyster. So it must have just been that little shell that. That had the that was bad because all of them so far were fine. And you get four. I get four. I, get, <laughs> I feel I feel so honored to have four. Do I just stop there? Because there's four. Stop there and eat my four. You guys can like fend for yourselves. Well, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. That's that's uh, that's uh, that's much better to. I think you're eating all of them, actually. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing worse than eating a bad oyster. Now, do you... Um, Except for a bad cobalt. Do you like to um, have these with uh, uh, hot sauce, or uh, what's the way you prefer a lobster? Or a, a lobster I'm, I mean? I'm not a hot sauce guy. I just use cocktail sauce or... Get cocktail sauce, a little bit of lemon, or nothing. Or, again, I might decide to have a little bit of pepper instead. Pepper? Pepper, pepper on everything, don't you? Maybe. That would be awesome. <laughs> I didn't think I like these, but actually I do like them now. But I'm, don't worry, I'm not, you're going to get four. <laughs> Nothing like a John Motel, nothing like a fresh oyster off the rocks. Right off the beach. And this is spoken from someone who actually lived on the Cape. Right. 
Oh, you're trying to actually, uh, you're trying to, uh, I was actually trying to, to cultivate them in the river. Uh, the, the, the I, threw a blue, I threw a small blue shell crab in there, and a year later I actually found a claw that still had meat. So it survived over there. I don't know if it's still there or not. It could be any place. So. If you find these strange things growing in our pond, you'll know why. Now you say pond, fresh water? Yeah. You're trying to grow oysters in a freshwater pond? <laughs> so I did the same thing. Remember, oysters wow. are in brackish water most of the time, which is a combination of fresh and salt. So maybe they would survive in just fresh water. They do have freshwater. They have freshwater mussels. I've seen freshwater clams. Freshwater clams. If you go to these buffets, Chinese buffet, you'll see that they'll have green mussels. I believe the green mussels are fresh mussels. Yep. Don't stop now. He's on a, he's on a roll. Ice, ice plate. Oh, okay. Well, it wasn't there when I started. Oh, yeah. Now, they grow these on ropes, don't they? I thought that's how they, uh, they commercially grow them. I'm just moving over here. You did what? Grow them on right, ropes. I don't have my hearing aids in. I know I forgot something today. I gotta back off because I must uh, gotta get you in. Well, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Um, oh, good. Ooh. Well, I, I don't want to do this unless we're out there. There's only one left anyway, George. There it is. Okay, here it is. The last one, folks. Last one. Oh, we got all the oysters. The last done? oyster out of the dozen. And Yeah. So, so they were. Yeah, I took my time to win it this time. So. There's the last one. And, and here's the finished product. Now you can, now you can wrap up your video. Thank you so much.